This is a demo of the IBM Connections plugins for Symfony. Symfony is a free productivity suite based on OpenOffice. It lets you create documents, presentations, and spreadsheets. IBM Connections is the market-leading enterprise social software. So let's get started. First, let me show you how easy it is to install plugins. All you have to do is expand the widgets section here. And when you come into the plugin catalog, simply take the link and drag it in Symfony and drop it. Once you do that, you will be prompted to install it. In this case, I have already installed it. I don't have to do anything else. The same thing if you go over to the community newsletter uh, plugin, which I'll show you in a couple of uh, seconds. Um, again, you take the, the link, you drag and drop it into Symfony, and that's all it takes. Very straightforward, very easy. So installing the plugins shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. Now, once you install the plugins, you can do a bunch of stuff in connections directly from Symfony. First, let me show you how you can create blogs and wikis offline. This is a very popular request where if people are traveling or perhaps people feel more comfortable using the productivity suite to create and edit their content and that way they can you know, insert images and create bold and italics and headings and so forth, they can do so directly from um, the suite. Once you're ready, you can take a document, for example, here's a document that I've created, and I want to publish this as a wiki. Notice that you can also publish this to a project that you have, one of your blogs, or even to your own personal file store. So I choose wiki, and notice that the document is being converted to HTML. Now, what I'm going to do is, I don't see the wiki that I want here, so notice that I can actually create wikis directly from Symfony. So I'm going to say that this wiki is going to be public, and hit OK. Now the wiki is being created for me in the background with an IBM connections. We can see that it's been successfully created. And now I can scroll down here and select my wiki. And within that wiki, I want to create a page called the Android mobile script. I can tag it if I want to. I can choose to make it private and I can even preview it before publishing. In this case, I just want to send it. And now my wiki page has been successfully created. So if I go over to the browser, and I refresh. Notice that a couple of seconds ago, the mobile demo wiki was created. And if I open that wiki, notice that the Android mobile script page has been created. So very straightforward, very easy, and the formatting and everything was kept from the document into the wiki. Now another thing you can do is as you are navigating a document or a presentation and you see a, a URL that perhaps you want to bookmark, you can quickly save that into into IBM Connections and simply click Add Bookmark. Notice that the URL is pre-populated, so all you have to do is um, tag it. Notice that this page has already been bookmarked by 14 other people, so I click OK. And my bookmark has now been created in IBM Connections. Now, another important use case is that I want to be able to store all my files within IBM Connections, but also open my files directly from Connections. So to do that, it's very easy. Again, click on the IBM Connections toolbar and pick to open and share files. Notice that I can navigate all the files that I have stored within IBM Connections, whether they are in communities or whether they are in my own personal file store. Now let's, let's pick and choose a file that I want to open. For example, I want to open this media gallery cost, uh, customization. The file is immediately downloaded from IBM Connections and then opened within IBM Symfony. Very straightforward, very easy, and now I can quickly make changes to the file, change whatever I need to, and once I'm ready, I can now send that file back into IBM Connections. Additionally, if I already have files within IBM Connections and a colleague asks me to get access to a file, I can actually share files directly from Symfony with other colleagues. In this case, for example, I can right-click and I can choose to share this file, and I can enter a name. And I'm going to enter Macidera. I click OK. Confirm that I want to make him a contributor. And that's it. That's all it takes. Now the file has been shared with Macidera, and Mac is going to receive an email notification and, of course, a notification within the activity streaming in IBM Connections so that he knows that I've shared the file with him. So very straightforward, very easy to use. Now another important use case here is the ability to insert data from connections directly into a document. Let's go back to my Android mobile uh, document that I have here 
And in this case, what I want to do is I want to insert the picture of the author. In this case, since I am the author, I'm going to search for myself. Notice that the system finds my profile and I can now insert my name, my email, or even my picture. So I want to insert my picture into the document and that's all it takes. Now my picture is there and this is uh, going to be the author and that way it's recorded. And now if I wanted to, I could uh, post this message or this document back into IBM Connection. Now another cool feature that community managers really like is the ability to monitor and generate metrics for their communities. So there's a newsletter generator uh, plugin here on the sidebar of Symfony and notice that I can see all the communities that I'm a member of and also the ones that I own. From that I can see how many members each community has, I can sort on the different columns, I can see when the community was last updated, etc. Now let's take this IBM Connections users community which is one of my favorite communities in IBM Connections and I can right click on this community and I can generate a newsletter for it which is going to take and summarize all the actions that have happened in that community within a particular time frame. I can calculate metrics which again is going to tell me some idea of uh, how widely used this uh, community is. I can mark it as a favorite. I can open it in my browser. In this case I just want to calculate metrics and show you how that looks. So let's go ahead and do that. First you have to pick a time frame for which you want the metrics to be generated for. In this case, I'm going to go for April 1st to April 30th because I want to see the data for the last month. I click on Finish and a couple of seconds later, I have my report here. Now, typically, I like to view this from a spreadsheet because that way I can keep track of the reports and monitor and compare them month to month. So let's go ahead and open a spreadsheet here. I'm going to minimize the sidebar for a second. I come into the spreadsheet and now I paste all my options. And that's all it takes. So now notice that I can see that in the last month, two blog entries were created. I can also see that uh, one entry was created. I can see that 25 blogs were viewed during this particular month. I can see that one file was uploaded. Um, I can see that eight bookmarks were created, etc. So you get a very, a, a very good idea of some of the metrics that are provided. And again, the great thing about this is that you can compare this month to month using the metrics tool directly embedded within Symfony. Finally, for those users on IBM Connections Content Edition, notice that you have additional options where you can check in, check out files, and of course open files directly from your community libraries. In this case, I'm going to navigate to one of my libraries, which is uh, IT Operations. I pick the, doc the document that I want, and if I want to, I can check it out directly from here. And once I'm ready, I can then check it back in directly from, from Symfony. So this is great because you can navigate your folders. Uh, of course, you can have nested folders, uh, any presentation that you want, any document that you want here, um, and then manage them and go through the collaboration process all through Symfony. So very straightforward and very easy to use. And that's it. Hope you liked it. And if you want to learn more, go into ibm.com social.